So, all in a nutshell, without getting too much into characters, I wanted to give a quick synopsis of Avatar Way of Water. And, um, I will say that it is better than the first one because it's got more elements to it. While it still has its uh, typical introductory to like different animals and how careful Jake and his family is time becoming accustomed to you know, different types of animals and different environments, different different uh, things all together. Um, it's got more at stake, you know, because it's his family he's protecting. It's not just Natalia's his wife, but it's his four children. Three biological children and two adopted. One adopted is considered a stray. Uh, he's called Monkey Boy by one of the characters, and he's basically human. So, but he he knows how to he knows how to behave like a, a Navi. He knows how to speak the language. So he's more or less his two are, uh, are bad adopted. <clears throat> and I will say that um, you know the whole aspect of half breed is, is brought into it, so it kind of takes back to that Native American uh, biracial in, uh, you know aspect of uh, an offspring between a, a Native American Indian and uh, you know, European or Spanish, you know, back in the old colonial days of the 1600s. Um, and also, it was personal for me because I happen to be biracial or half breed, as people would say. It's, it's actually this actually fits of tall, so I'm not saying anymore. But these, um, they're not actually really biracial, though. More or less, uh, you know, it's just a difference because, like, uh, only one of his biological kids has uh, all five appendages on the hand, and by the other two have, you know, <clears throat> the things on the thumb. But, um, anyway, uh, it, it's, it's a great movie. I would definitely take the family to go see it. I'll be honest with you, go see this movie in IMAX. Make sure it's 3D IMAX. And the best one, the best ones, I think the best one is AMC. I literally saw it for the third time. Uh, most likely I'll see it again, but I saw it for the third time and I saw it at AMC 3D. And the visual was crazy. This time I, it was actually 3D. And I know that people talk about Spider Man No Way Home and, and, and uh, Black Panther. To Wakanda Forever and Doctor Strange and all these other blockbuster movies, all time movies that were 3D, <clears throat> but this movie was actual 3D. I saw stuff coming out of the screen at me from bubbles to water to animals to fish to arrows and spears and actual stuff. I mean, and, and I guess it was really because the screen itself was like a high definition TV, you know, kind of like you have that fluid look of an LCD TV that's like frame rate doesn't match so everything looks more alive. That's how it looked. And um, it's actually one of the TVs they have these nice fancy hotels, the ones I've been to in both San Francisco and recently Las Vegas. Um, I actually want one of those TVs. Basically what I'm saying is it looks more alive and uh, that helps with the 3D aspect of it, the 3D effect. You do still need the glasses though. So the technology behind it was a uh, was pretty darn good. I mean, I, I, I just, it fathoms me still how this was actually a 3D experience. This was like the best 3D experience I've ever had in my life, and it's definitely the best one I've had in the whole decade. Like, I don't think the little recycled glasses that they used to give out can cut it. They actually had a different type of glass. And I actually have with me a collectible, an actual collectible, not that little plastic cup that you will see at AMC. All plastic cup and it's got water in it. It was only twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. You know, the same nineteen ninety nine, the same amount of the picture this phone. I gotta get a name. I'll probably just see it in the book if I stay here with you. But uh this movie is really great. I mean I would definitely see it in IMAX with the family. Um it's both it and so, uh, you know, it's it's really great. So, in the uh, the movie, you know, pretty much Jack is protecting his family. He's going, in, you know, he's um he's adapting to a brand new world because well, now they are living amongst people who live in the, amongst the weeds or the, uh, the ocean, basically bodies of water. So it's no longer a forest. You go from forest to this is great because it's a whole new transition and 
It just it leaves you guessing what James Cameron's got next for his next two new films. That's right, there's only a total of four Avatar films. The first one is The Way of Water, and two extra two other ones. Matter of fact, I think they've already filmed number three. Probably it's probably in post production at best right now, as we speak. But uh, they filmed this movie, Way of Water, the second one, like two years ago, before the whole COVID outbreak. <clears throat> and it was late, you know, it was probably just been stuck in post production for a while. Uh, and whatever phase, phase it was due to the whole COVID uh, pandemic. But it's worth the wait. It's been well over a decade. I think people will definitely be fascinated with it. Um, you got some people who will jump into it, like not even knowing what the first one is about, and they do need that, uh, uh, no background or slash homework of the first film to understand the, the, the main antagonist, who is the colonel. Uh, I forget his name on top of the head, but he's played by the guy from Don't Breathe and Don't Breathe 2, and, uh, he's actually from, uh, Into the Badlands, as well as other notable, uh, you know, pieces of art, uh, other other films and, uh, Shows. He's a, he's a, a accomplished actor, and of course you got Jack Troy played by Sam Wellington, known for Wrath of Titans, Clash of Titans, and uh, Tornado Salvation, as well as other things. Yeah, this is Avatar's basically Sam Wellington's biggest and best movie, his highest ranking movie, definitely has pay in. Yeah, I mean, I mean James Cameron just blows me away. And, and I've actually, I, I teared up again. This is my third time, and all three times I have teared up. I've cried. And it's just, it's just, it's just a connection of the kids. It's like when I see a brother in a brother moment, you know, it's, it's literally, it really brings tears to me. And plus the animals in the ocean, the connection of the animals, it really is, it's, it's, it's a heartwarming sad. And I loved it. And uh, I'm, I'm not ashamed to be brought to tears because. It's all about water, and there's this aspect of like breathing from your diaphragm, which is basically the basis of meditation, it's like that, and I'll get a soap like that. But, you know, most having a big effect in this, this awesome cup, uh, this is actually just ice left on so. By the way, um, they said fill up a cup, so I guess I, I thought they were going to fill it up with soda or some apple drink, but, um, I guess fill it, fill it, fill the cup, I don't know, filled cup, filled cup, I guess they meant this, water well, but, um, that's another one with the water, like you see in the spot over here, yeah, and since, since, and since they did that, I kind of felt bad about, you know, getting soda that I was originally going to get, so what I did was I just got the water, 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 Anyway, um, yeah, definitely go see Avatar 2, or uh, Way of Water, because it, it's, it's filled, it's, it's, it fills you and fills you up, uh, and fills you with, uh, all kinds of emotions, and breathtaking, maybe it won't take it as seriously as I, 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 I took it, but, I see a movie post potion, and you like big movies, and for 3D effects, I would definitely go see this movie in IMAX, Reading this weekend or on a Tuesday, I strongly recommend this. The tickets are literally six dollars, uh, the whole less, and you can see it three times for the price of one ticket. Or you can purchase AMC's uh, A list at $24.95 a month, and you can see it literally all this month, three times a week, four weeks in a month, that is 12 times in the month from December to January. Go see Avatar, whatever, now playing a game.